It's uh, Paul Cafasis. You got it. Your name? I'm Rogue Amoeba. I have so much trouble with names. Okay, so what are you showing off today at Macworld? Uh, we're basically showing off two of our most popular products, Airfoil and Radio Shift. Uh, Airfoil is designed to let you send any audio around your house. So Apple has their Airport Express, which lets you send audio from iTunes uh, out to the Airport Express to a stereo, to an Apple TV. Uh, with Airfoil, you can send any audio. So audio from Pandora, Last.fm, web-based sources, uh, audio from QuickTime Player, Real Player, other applications that provide audio. Uh, so Airfoil is basically getting your audio anywhere you want around your house, any of your audio. Uh, Radio Shift is a tool for listening to and recording streaming content from the internet. So there's tens of thousands of radio stations that have online streams, and Radio Shift makes it really easy to uh, find and listen to these stations and then record them. Uh, it's got a built-in database, so you can just search for your favorite station, search for your favorite programs, and with one click be listening to it, and one more click be subscribed to it so it records it whenever you want it to. And so I don't need to be sitting there to record it. I can just set the schedule. Set it and forget it, as Ron Popeil would say. I, yeah, I, think I, can't, I don't think we can rip him off for that, but uh, <laughs> pretty much it. It's something where you click schedule, and the, the database itself knows when these programs are on, and so it'll handle everything for you, and when you come back, there'll be audio waiting for you. Now, back to uh, talk about airflow for a moment. Let's say I'm watching some sort of QuickTime file and I want to have that audio sent. Uh, obviously, there might be some concerns with delay and so forth. How, do, how does Airfoil handle that? So the, the Airtunes protocol, the streaming audio protocol itself, uh, there's a buffer of about a couple seconds. So if you're watching video locally, uh, Airfoil has a, has a built-in tool called Airfoil Video Player where the video is delayed to sort of sync up with the remote audio. So if you, if you have control over that video, uh, you can listen to the audio remotely on, on some great speakers and still have the video be local. And of course, uh, since we last spoke, uh, Apple has released the iPad. Any interest in that as a development for your current software or looking at it for the future? Uh, it's, it's certainly not something we can ignore. Uh, the iPhone came out you know, uh, as a developer platform a, a year and a half ago, and we sort of dipped our toes in the water and uh, have a couple products for it, but it's not really where our focus is. The Mac is where our focus is, and uh, the iPad sort of has some of the same limitations with the App Store and things like that, so uh, it has some, some new, new features. You know, a giant screen makes it much more plausible that we could make an audio editor for it. We have an audio editor that we could port over to the iPad. Will we do that? Uh, it'll, time will tell. It's certainly not something that we're, we're ignoring. Uh, we're certainly aware of the possibilities there, and we'll see how much of a, how much of a success it is and, and what makes sense for us, really. And uh, going back to your current software, especially Radio Shift, it's interesting to me that it almost it almost bridges the gap between you know on demand podcasting yep. and listening to your favorite stations from your favorite talk radio, NPR, whatever it may be. Absolutely. So podcasting is great, but not everything's available in a podcast. You can download all this content, but many programs don't have podcasts available. You can only listen to the live stream. And with Radio Shift, you can record that and have it anytime you want. Basically, turn it into a podcast yourself. Very cool. It's called Radio Shift, and also check out Airfoil, both available for the Mac. And uh, the website? Uh, Rogamoeba.com, but if you can't spell it, you can just Google for Radio Shift or Airfoil. And don't be, don't be ashamed if you can't spell yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a terrible it. domain name. <laughs> All right, Paul, thank you so much. Thank you.